Hello, YouTubers and all those who happen to watch. I hope you're all doing quite well. So, alright, this is sort of a little bit of a tag kind of hybrid kind of thing here again. And this is a general question for all you folks here on YouTube. And that, of course, is this. Is the condition of your games important? Is it crucial? Is it something that, you know, stands out or has to stand out? The pristine has to matter? Or is it something that, you know, you can just get this to be perfectly happy with it? Uh, personally, I'm one of those type of guys, I'm very OCD about my collection. I'm not, you know, totally, you know, chuffed or angry because, you know, a game comes, you know, worn out or whatever else, just as long as it plays. But it has to be complete depending on the year of the game. Uh, for example, PlayStation 1. Yeah, since 1998, you know, these games have been out for a while. This was, of course, 1997 on this game. But I did not want this primarily for the game. I wanted the donor. So, because this is actually the old case that this new game here, or at least the newer case is in now, of this game right here. Now, if you guys remember correctly, I got sold the Vide a while back, and the condition of the case was like this. It was like falling apart, it was all, you know, this can fall out, that can fall out, you know, <laughs> it was in pieces, basically, when I got it, but I wasn't too chuffed, because I know how easily it was able to replace the case, it wasn't until now, of course, when I decided to cave in and get a donor cart, or not a cart, but a, uh, a donor case for it, so, again, I was happy, and everyone went home naked and masturbated, so, Wow, don't know my own uh, vibe of direction here with this case. But, yeah, I mean, that's my thing, too, is that I don't like collecting sports games at all. Like, I'm not really into sports at all. You know, I'll play the occasional, you know, NBA Jam or golf or bowling games, if there's even any good ones out nowadays. I haven't really seen any good bowling games. I wish they would have good bowling games, but I digress. And that's my main crucial point of this video, is that there should be more bowling games, but no. Is that I'm not a heavily crazy guy when it comes to having mint condition cartridges or mint condition uh, cases for things, but it has to be somewhat complete. You know, I'm very crucial about that most of the time. If it's like a cartridge game, like Super Nintendo, I'll just get like a dust protector or something like that, or a generic case that's like one of those long cases there you can put them in there, into. If it's like a viable game to me, then I'd just be like, eh, keep that shit sealed, motherfucker. But, <laughs> that's generally all there is to that right there. I mean, when it comes to Nintendo cartridges, you know, I kind of just leave them out. You know, I, I, I want to play them, I usually clean them really good, then I play them. Then that's generally it. Uh, what's it? I had a friend who used to throw away his cases all the time. I used to go over his house, and this is exactly how he had all of his games. And you never see any of the DVD cases for his PS2 titles anywhere. And you used to have his games exactly like this. You know, just loose. Now, mind you, most of these games do actually have cases. This one does. That one does. I wish that one did. I wish that one did. That one does. That one does. That one doesn't. That one doesn't. Again, you get the point, as I've shown this, this is like the holy grail at the moment, because apparently the uh, the GameCube player, or the Game Boy player for the GameCube is not going to go up in value, but that's not really my fucking collection. Not all my tits are blazing. And so that's generally the moral of the story right there, too. Um, I When it comes to PlayStation 2, Dreamcast, PlayStation 1, anything disc-based, I want it complete. You know, I'm very picky. I'm very picky. I mean, if I'm given to it, this is like given to me or donated to me as a gift, I'm not going to be bitching because it's something that's free, but it's also, you know, given as a gift. You know, you can't, you know, tarnish the fact that someone thought of you when they gave you a gift. I mean, granted, if they give you, like, Crow City of Angels, then, of course, you want to close on a motherfucker, but uh, that's basically that right there in a nutshell. But, you know, I'm... One of those type of guys, again, who likes near complete. But I want to hear what you guys have to say about this overall. I want to see what you guys think 
about collections and how you like to keep your collection and all that and you know try to if you have a video response involved as well try to show you know examples of how you like to keep your games complete or how you keep them formatted and you know how you keep them overall I mean probably someone's gonna be like a kidster or a joker would be like hey look at my emulation uh look at my lit my folders filled 13 gigabytes of fucking Super Nintendo games motherfucker all in different formats eat my dick you know that type of thing but but you expect me to touch my nipples? Ooh. But <laughs> that is all for now, guys. Again, please be sure I implore you to share your said collection this. Because I want to hear about it. If you don't, I'll come to your house and I'll touch your nipples. I'll take pictures of me touching your nipples and I'll share it to all your bros. And when your bros see me touch your nipples, they'll think you're gay. One of them who happens to be actually gay will hit on you so well that you'll turn gay yourself. Which is nothing to be wrong with gay, but it would just be one of those situations that become very awkward for your family to explain after a while. Of course, they might accept you after. Or you could be living in one of those, like, southern Christian places where they just shun your ass. But either way, your nipples will be touched. And I'll use chainsaws. Oh! <laughs>